In this Olive tutorial I will show you how to crop, scale and reposition video clips. I've assumed you have a basic understanding of editing videos and audio in Olive. A link to my beginners tutorial is included in the description below for those that don't. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. OK, well I've set this, uh, or I've set Olive up with a couple of video clips in uh, the timeline. I'm also using proxies, uh, this is the reason why this looks a little bit blurred in the monitor. OK, so I'm going to just select this first video here, which is this one. And what you need to make sure you're in is the effect. So this is, uh, this actually says effects GH. 182 but anyway yours will say different but make sure you've selected the effects and just to resize a video um, make sure there's a tick in the uniform scale box unless you particularly want to squash or <laughs> pinch up a video so like I said make sure there's a tick in the uniform scale box and you can place your pointer over the scale size 100 and you can either drag this down or increase it in size so I'm going to take this up to so it's a little bit bigger and then you can either reposition your video left or right by dragging this over this particular position here over and you can also change the position by dragging. So this one's left to right, this one's top to bottom. Or you can drag it using the center point by holding your left mouse button down. So I'm going to just leave this clip here for now. I'll snap this second clip up. And in this one I actually want to physically crop it so it's sort of more square around this MG here. To do that, next to video effects, there's a little tab left click on add video effects and then next to distort left click on crop so I'm going to crop the left hand side by dragging this over here where it says left so it's just next to the edge of this MG here and the right I'm going to drag over this way to the right I shan't bother with the top or bottom and again making sure the uniform scale is selected I'm actually going to reduce this in size down to I don't know about 50% 55 that's something like that and using the middle because it's easier I'm going to just drag this down so that's in the corner now you may find that you get to this problem where once you're pointer is next to the edge of the monitor you can't move it so I'm going to just come back and drag this down again so that it's sort of in the corner here and that's basically all there is to it like I said I won't go into um, you can change the audio volume here if you want to reduce the audio on either track or edit without audio I find sometimes that's easier so I'll edit this without audio and then bring in the audio that I want to use and re-render but that's entirely up to you I shan't go into exporting so hopefully this helps somebody thank you for watching cheers